The Grizzlies last night tied the series up 1-1, but not before a controversial flagrant two foul on Mr. Dylan Brooks. Um, and he got ejected, which I think he rightfully should have. He rightfully should have because, bro, you ain't even going for the ball. You you literally took your arm and just was like, all right, I'm going to do something. I'm going to just make it look like I'm going for But I ain't going for the ball. And, and the result, Gary Payton Jr. tried to brace himself. They, Steve Kerr said he broke his elbow. I don't know. I haven't heard anything yet. It's fractured oh, elbow. I think nine times out of ten, he's out for the playoffs. Three to four weeks. That's the playoffs. <laughs> really a week and a half. How you going to say that he's going to be out for the playoffs? You don't know they can advance to the next round or not. That's true. But, I mean, each series, what, a week and a half? So he'll make it back, what, just yeah, the Yeah, they're going to have to make the fi- almost the finals. Like, That's, true. Yeah. That's true. So, you know, you out for this series and the next series. You <laughs> might go home before then. We don't know. But I think it was a dirty. It, it was dirty. It was dirty. It's like, bro, you ain't even try to make a block. You just, I don't know what. He did, doing. though. Bro, he tried to make he tried to make the block, man. I'm trying to tell you he did. It just like it looked like he was trying to do maybe the reverse. So he thought he was gonna do the reverse, maybe. So he was like, you know, but it's I look it was a hard foul. It was a hard foul, bro. I don't feel like he should have got ejected out of the game. It should have probably been a, a flagrant one. You know what I'm saying? Flagrant one, you know, give him the you know, two free throws in the ball. But I mean to Get him out the game that early with three minutes oh. in the first quarter. Dylan Brooks was one of they is one of they key. He players. shoulda. What do you mean? The hell? And then everybody talking about it was just a everybody hard knew you should have braced himself better. How the hell you brace yourself <laughs> when you're in the air? I'm not saying that part, but I'm just saying though. All I'm saying is I feel like he was trying to go for the block. Yeah, he might have hit him in the head. You know, what I'm saying it was it was a hard foul. It was a really hard foul. I, I yeah. should it, it should have been a flagrant one. I don't think he should have got ejected off of that. What do you think, John? As an athlete, right, one of the first things you learn or should learn is how to fall, right? But there are just some things you just cannot recover from. Exactly. Um, I mean, it came, hey, it came in handy for me today. I was I was holding someone's camera, and I fell. And because I know how to fall, I was able to save the camera. And, you know, I took some I took some bumps, but, uh, you know, I saved the camera. But so, so it, the, guy, that, the guy that knocked you down, is he getting suspended? No, I ran into a bench. We were walking through a museum. <laughs> we were walking through a museum, and they had the lights off. They had the lights off in the museum, and all the walls were lit up with art and stuff. And a little bench right in the middle of the museum, in the floor, <laughs> and it you know caught me right in the shin. But anyway, but it's one of the first things they learn, you know, or should learn. But there's just some hits you can't recover from. Um, and one is when you're in the air and your feet come out from under you, right? Like there's just no safe landing for that. The, for me, it's eye contact. You watch his eyes, and at no point did his eyes ever make contact with the ball. And so the, for me, that's why I think he was never, ever going for the ball. I mean, the, the camera looking at him is straight up at Dylan Brooks. Like, it's just looking straight at him. And his eyes just the whole time are just like, and while his arm is way over here, just swinging away. For me, it's a lazy play. Um, and, and, but because you know what lazy plays can lead to injuries and stuff for that, I think, yeah, it definitely deserves it for that. Because of that, it's a dirty play. Do I think it's a malicious dirty play? No, I think it was a lazy dirty play. Whereas like he, he got sloppy, tried to do something. And because of that, you can hurt people. And so, yeah, it just, he so, deserves to get teed so, up for it. So let me ask y'all this. Would it have been considered a dirty play if he wouldn't have got injured? Yeah, it was a dirty yeah, play. Yeah. Right. So again, I'm not saying it's malicious. Oh, not- I ain't gonna lie. They even made a good point. I, I, it's a lot of people in the NBA right now fall like that at least about six, seven times a game, though. You feel me? Like I'm not comparing. And, this and with it being in the playoffs, I mean, you don't want to give up no easy bucket. I'm not saying the way how he did it was correct, but I mean, I don't want to give up a layup or a dunk. You know what I'm saying in the playoffs? So I mean, yeah, I'm gonna give you a hard foul. But I mean, like I said, I, just I don't feel even like- think it was a hard foul. I, I I just think it was a lazy foul. I think it was like he he just shouldn't have done it. You know what I mean? Like, listen, if someone's in the air, you let it go. You just let that one go. And when you're, you know, instead he tried to do some like, I don't know. But it, I'm not saying this is like Zaza Pachulia, where he did something on purpose to hurt specifically to hurt somebody. But I mean, it was clearly a, it was a dirty play just because of you know how sloppy it was. Sloppy basketball. 
against a against a defenseless person, and, and you can't do that. 